Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day today. This is uh, William Smith, a Legacy Empowerment Group. I wanted to make this video because one of the things that I'm always consistently thinking about is why I do certain things. And that's something you should think about, too. And so I know a Legacy Empowerment Group, I talk about TSP, uh, Fegley, FERS, you know, you know, long-term care, all that stuff, life insurance. We talk about all this stuff. All that stuff matters. But when I really get deep, into like, you know, to myself spiritually, I really don't care about any of that stuff, right? What I really, really, really care about is helping create financial legacies in our culture. Like that's a big deal for me. Like I get really enthusiastic when I think about how many businesses we can have in our culture by the work we do today. Like, and so growing up in the DC area, you know, there's a lot of federal government employees. And so if you leave the DC area, like we got a new guy um, that, that that's from Florida. And he's working with us. And like he's amazed when he's in some of our sessions with some of with me or some of the other agents that we have working with us. And he's seeing the type of money that people in the D.C. area are making. He's just like, look, we don't got this type of money as, 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 as the people in our culture um, had down, down in Florida. And so what he's just like, he's like, man, this is amazing. And so I saw that years ago. And so one of the things that we're passionate about at Legacy Empowerment Group is making sure that we take the money that we're making within the federal government and we're passing that down to generation to gen, for generational wealth. And so today I was, uh, well, today and then, you know, a couple of times in the past week, I've been meeting with one particular client and she has a business and her business is a very niche business. Her business is making shoe covers uh, for her bowling team. So she, 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 she makes the shoe covers and she's like, she just needs help selling them. So we and her have been going diving deep into how she can turn this business into a business that can help her retire. And so we spent, we spent at least 45 minutes in her office one day building out the idea. And then the other day she called me and we took another 20 minutes and we were building on the idea. And then today she called me and she wants to book more time to talk about the business. And so the thing that I came away from, and I think about this all the time, is that the reason why I do Legacy Empowerment Group is really to just start more black businesses. Like, I'm just super passionate about that. Um, yes, we talk about Fegley. Yes, we talk about TSP. Yes, we talk about all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, those are just vehicles that if we're not maximizing, then, we're, then, then, we, can't, then we can't create the generational wealth that we need for our, for our families to compete like the other culture. Because they take that stuff serious. And if we don't take that stuff serious, we're going to be left behind. And so that's why I do Legacy Empowerment Group. That's why we exist. That's why I'm on this thing, on here, on this thing. That's why I'm on here talking about, uh, you know, TSP, Fegley, and all that other stuff. Because that stuff matters, and if we don't take it serious, our next generation won't be where we need them to be. So I just wanted to make that video, you know, and even for you, right? Ret talking about your retirement is a, is, can sometimes be a difficult thing, but if you don't do it, it just leaves you in a in a, in a, in a bad place. So again, don't operate out of fear. You know, fear is there. Definitely let it motivate you if you need, need it to motivate you to get you out of a position of apathy, which is like brushing stuff underneath the rug and not making, not making the, uh, taking the action steps you need to to put yourself in a better position. Use fear to get you out of that space, but don't live in fear, right? So there's a difference. Live in abundance. Live with the opportunity, like with the mindset that's like, all right, here's where I'm at. Here's where I want to go. And think about all the possibilities on where you and your family can go. Um, and that's one of the things that we go, we enter into our meetings with, we're meeting with clients. It's like, all right, where can we take this potential person? And for me, it's like, it's beyond, it's beyond the family, it's beyond the first, it's beyond the civil service, it's beyond the, the TSP. Like all those things, all those things are just vehicles. So even for yourself, just remember, like, look at the big vision, see where you want to go and then walk towards that. Okay, like just walk towards that when, when, it, when it comes to uh, your finances and everything you got going in the federal government, because we have an opportunity in the D.C. area to really make history for our culture. And we're going to do it one family at a time. So peace and blessings, y'all. Just want to shoot that video just as a reminder of the opportunity that we have. All right. Peace and blessings, y'all.